Welcome to the History of Simple Things, where we delve into the fascinating history behind the little things that shape our world. Duct tape is one of those ubiquitous products that seems to have a million uses, whether it's patching up a leaky pipe, holding together a broken piece of equipment, or serving as a quick fix in countless DIY projects. But behind its iconic silvery gray appearance lies a rich history rooted in necessity, ingenuity, and adaptation during one of the most challenging periods of the 20th century, World War II. The invention of duct tape is a testament to how human creativity often flourishes in times of dire need, leading to innovations that continue to impact daily life long after their original purpose has evolved. The story of duct tape begins in 1943, amidst the chaos and intensity of World War II. The United States military was grappling with numerous logistical challenges, one of which was ensuring that ammunition cases remained sealed and waterproof on the battlefield. At the time, these cases were sealed with a standard paper tape, which was unreliable in wet and dirty conditions. Water would seep into the cases, potentially ruining the ammunition and putting soldiers at risk. Frustrated by this problem, a factory worker and mother of two sons who were serving in the Navy, Vesta Stout, took it upon herself to find a solution. Stout worked at the Green River Ordnance Plant in Illinois, where she was responsible for inspecting and packaging ammunition. Noticing how the tape being used was inadequate, she came up with the idea of using a cloth-based, waterproof adhesive tape that could be torn by hand, yet strong enough to keep moisture and debris out. Her idea was simple but brilliant a tape made of a durable fabric that was easy to use and didn't require tools to cut. Vesta Stout's persistence in pushing her idea forward is what truly set the wheels in motion for the invention of duct tape. After her suggestion was met with little enthusiasm at the plant, she wrote a letter directly to President Franklin D. Roosevelt. In her letter, Stout explained the problem and proposed her solution, emphasizing that the current method was putting soldiers at risk. Her letter did not go unnoticed. The president recognized the value in her suggestion and forwarded the proposal to the War Production Board, which immediately saw the potential in her idea. Soon after, the Johnson & Johnson subsidiary Permacell was tasked with developing and manufacturing this new type of tape, which would go on to become duct tape. The first iterations of duct tape were a far cry from the silvery gray product we recognize today. Initially, it was produced as a green cloth back tape with a waterproof polyethylene coating designed to withstand the harsh conditions of war. The tape quickly became known as duct tape, not because of its use in air ducts, but because of its water resistant properties, likened to the way water rolls off a duck's back. Soldiers found the tape incredibly useful not just for sealing ammunition cases, but for a wide range of field repairs, from fixing jeeps and firearms to patching tents and boots. It didn't take long for the tape to earn a reputation as a multi-purpose lifesaver in the field. After the war ended, duct tape's journey was far from over. As soldiers returned home and the economy shifted back to peacetime, the versatile tape made its way into civilian markets. Around the 1950s, the construction and HVAC industries discovered the benefits of using the tape for sealing joints and air ducts, leading to the shift from its military green color to the silver gray that matched ductwork. This change in color also marked the transition from duct tape to duct tape, reflecting its new primary use. However, despite this rebranding, the product was still widely referred to as duct tape, and both names have continued to be used interchangeably. The 1950s and 60s saw duct tape gaining popularity in homes and workshops across America thanks to its strength, flexibility, and waterproof nature. 
DIY enthusiasts and handymen praised its reliability for quick fixes, and it became a staple in toolboxes. The tape's ability to stick to almost anything while being easily torn by hand made it a go-to solution for countless applications. This widespread adoption led to more manufacturers producing their own versions, each trying to perfect the balance between adhesive strength and ease of use. As more people began to rely on duct tape, it also became an emblem of resourcefulness and ingenuity, inspiring the idea that with enough duct tape, almost any problem could be solved. Duct tape's fame soared even higher in the following decades, thanks to its appearance in pop culture and in extraordinary events. Perhaps one of the most notable instances of duct tape being used in a life-saving situation occurred during the Apollo 13 mission in 1970. When an oxygen tank explosion jeopardized the mission, duct tape played a crucial role in constructing a makeshift carbon dioxide filter that allowed the astronauts to breathe safely and return to Earth. The incident highlighted the tape's incredible versatility and cemented its place as a reliable tool even in the most extreme conditions. Beyond its use in everyday repairs and crafts, the evolution of duct tape has also led to specialized variations. Today, you can find duct tape in various colors, patterns, and even glow-in-the-dark versions, each tailored for specific needs or creative projects. Heavy-duty versions with reinforced fibers, extra-strong adhesive, or heat-resistant properties are now available for professional applications. The original cloth-backed version has also inspired the development of other tapes with specialized functions, like gaffer tape used in the entertainment industry or medical adhesive tapes. As much as duct tape has evolved, its core design remains remarkably similar to the product first developed during World War II. This is a testament to how well it was conceived and how perfectly it met a need that still exists today. The history of duct tape is a fascinating journey from a battlefield necessity to a cultural icon, reflecting not just the power of invention, but the enduring importance of solving practical problems with simple, effective solutions. The invention of duct tape was a product of wartime ingenuity, driven by the persistence of a concerned factory worker who recognized a problem and had the determination to propose a solution. Vesta Stout's idea, nurtured by the backing of President Roosevelt and the manufacturing prowess of Johnson & Johnson's Permacell division, gave birth to a product that has transcended its original purpose. From military origins to mainstream DIY culture, duct tape has become a symbol of versatility, creativity, and the belief that with enough of it, you can fix just about anything. Whether you call it duct tape or duct tape, its place in history is secure as one of the most versatile tools ever created. Thank you for watching. If you have suggestions for our next video, feel free to share them in the comments below. We'll be sure to give you an acknowledgement for your contribution. Thank you for joining us on this journey through the history of simple things. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and stay tuned for more stories woven through the smallest details.